How you doing everybody? Hope you're having a great day and welcome back to another video. What are you up to now? In the previous episode we had a little bit of fun. We finished uh, some side quests and we figured out that uh, Renrock is trying to build a drill. We actually got to uh, be Professor Black through the apologist potion. Oh, sorry, the apologist potion, not the apologist. <laughs> I don't know why I, I wanted to add apology to that, but uh, yeah. And now we know the secret. Uh, uh, what, what's it called again? Ah, it's locked. Now we know the secret uh, passage thingy, the secret password for his office. You know, it's weird since he's uh, prob probably the ancestor to Sirius Black. And they're like totally different people. Whoa. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Toujours. Revelio. Nice. Isn't it supposed to be like a um I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto? Huh. I don't even actually remember if this was the actually the gargoyle that appeared in Harry Potter or not. Maybe each headmaster changes it. Whoa. Rebellion. Yeah. Yep. Another one. Damn. There's a lot of things in here. Sorting hat is in there, okay. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. Please don't tell me it's the story of Harry Potter, like some weird rendition of his story. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Maybe it's the Deathly Hallows. Has this been under Hallows? Nose all this time? Revelio. Hmm. That must be the pedestal. Okay, looks like there we go. It's gonna be the Deathly Hollows, maybe. Hmm. Now I'm thinking the headmaster, uh, Professor Black, is a Slytherin, maybe. Where am I? Whoa. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? This is I am nice. here. Whoa. In this place. You may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. In this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Damn. Yeah, this is gonna be the Deathly Hollows, I believe. Okay. Invisible for this to work. Here we go. I am 
not a secret. I'm not a big fan of these sneaking around type of games. Can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. I see. A staircase straight ahead. Death. Damn. That was a jump scare right there. And this How can this happen? A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Death is everywhere. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. my chance damn this game is really getting my nerves up that's the way forward The cloak of invisibility. This is the Deathly Hallows. I think I'm invisible. Hmm. There has to be some other way to get there, right?
they can't see me at all, I can get closer to them. This is the Deadly Hallows. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? Okay, so now we have the, the invisible cloak, probably the elder one and that stone, I forgot what it's called. Oh my god, this is pretty good. You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you, the elder one. Do not squander its extraordinary power. The Elder Wand. God, this is actually pretty good. Can we keep these? I've never felt such power. Revelio. Huh. Okay, it looks like this is Wait. What? Revelio. This some kind of trick. Depulcher. Defender. Bombard. Oh, okay. This seems pretty straightforward to me so far. Okay, there we go. Not so tough that we can now use our magic. Oh wait, we can still use our ancient magic, nice. I really like this, it's like a pencil. But we're in a book though, right? So, pencil drawing, a book. Are we gonna fight death itself? Ah, oh, this is so cool!
go. There we go, come on. Die. Die, die, die. What was the uh, game I was trying to emulate? Come on, Dad, show me what you got. Come on, that's what you got. Nice. Should have used the mandrake thing. Hmm. So one more thing is required. That uh, stone thing, stone that can bring back the dead, right? Or the spirit of the dead, or something like that, right? The simple stuff. This must be for me. This is actually pretty good. Through the mourners ahead, nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Dear sweet Neve. <laughs> Neve. We won't be the same without her. He's leaving. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Damn, this is some... See, it's magic like this that gets me questioning. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Yes, yeah, so I was saying, it's like magic like this. It... Remember it... that as you oh, witness my on. memory. Yes, yeah, so I was saying, it's magic like this that makes me think, why are wizards hiding magic from everyone else? I mean, they can just probably just take over the world if they wanted to. Uh, whatever, I guess. Let's see what her memory shows. We'll probably get an artifact, right? Yep, there it is. Looks like we're wearing bandages. Mm -hmm. 
Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Well, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Oh, Niamh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh, it's like she's taking drugs. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Damn. And we're back to normal. I wonder why the oh. It's meant to signify the full keepers, maybe? <sighs> okay. Map chamber, here we come. There we go. I'd seen Bacar's tower countless times. Never suspected. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I wonder how I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Hmm. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. 
I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Hmm. And a trophy. Nice. So, well, that's going on. Looks like the story is picking up some uh, pace. We've got all four of them. Nice. So, let's take a look at our quest, see what we can get done. Hmm. Uh, the dragon egg seems more uh, interesting to me, so we'll do that. Probably Hogsmeade, right? Yep, it is Hogsmeade. Did I go back to Hogwarts? Yep, I did. Hmm. Thought there was a... There we go, fast travel there. That is interesting. See, I still have those questions from before. How Next is she able to pull friend. emotions? Will she make them... Oops. It's not like her to forget. That's what I was saying, like, does she take all the emotions out? Because if you take pain away from the moment, doesn't mean the pain doesn't... I mean, does, the only way to get rid of emotional pain, I think, would be to get rid of the memory bit, right? I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Hmm. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Nice. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Man, there goes my hopes of maybe having a dragon mount. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. And then she might try to eat us. the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Good. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There 
she is, above us, she did make it home safely. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Interesting. Want to just attack her? For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way, at least until we've done what we came to do. That's I wonder how many they brought to cap. Just in case. Oh shit, we can't go to the map. I wanted to know where sh where it is so At we can come back later. Usually. There she is again. She's breathtaking. Oh yeah, she could probably take your breath away by from a distance. Imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrides love sheep. How oh, lucky for us! Damn, this is actually—I don't know. Watch your step. Raring for a fight. Nice, something good. Quiet, what was that? Me. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. At least we got some Ashwinder eggs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's wait for one more breath. Run, 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 run. 
Ah, shoot, took fire damage. She's leaving quickly. Brilliant. There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Repair her. There we go. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. There we go. was brilliant and did you see how clever she left us perfectly unharmed creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again I was hoping to look around for a moment, if you don't mind. Take it all in. I suppose we could catch our breath. I'm ready whenever you are. Now, there were some caves down here. I guess it's fine. No, no point in that. Uh... I can't believe any of what just happened. Still taking it all in? No. I think I'm ready to leave if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. Wow. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. Oh, yeah. How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. 
Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is oh, more yeah, than unicorn I can blood. to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Okay, nice. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat. And be warned, she's a stubborn girl. She may need some convincing to come with you. I need to look for a unicorn. Yep, let's take a look at the world map. North of Hogwarts, which is here. Okay. There we go. Unicorn, that's nice. I was actually going to do another side quest, I believe, for Natty, but... I mean, how can you pass up a unicorn? I should investigate. Hmm. Hazel must be here somewhere. I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. Okay, now let's make our way to Hogsmeade first, probably. There we go. That was pretty quick. I was expecting, I don't know. A bit more hunting ish involved, you know. How inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Old Spout Hill Spavin's been minister for so long, I don't remember who gave him that. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she alright? Are you alright? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. <gasps> do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now. Now, let's head back to Hogwarts. Mainly because... We have some uh, items that need to be. Um, what's it called? Dick has some exciting news to share. Hey, Deek. Give me one minute. Then you can share all you want. Hmm. Okay. I'll look after you. Okay. There we go. Damn, it's a unicorn.
Man, damn, this place is huge. Don't know how big this place is. Can we go swimming? Oh yeah. Holy shit, how big is this place? Is that the fence? Probably. Can we swim? Nope. Okay, looks like I found the barrier. Maybe... I wonder if there's a way to connect all the vivariums together. That way... Um... Uh, as I was saying... You could connect all the vivariums together, it would be pretty nice. Moving from one spot to the next. Okay, Deke. Where is Deke? There he is. What did you have for me? Deke has some exciting news to share. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A oh. phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned. The one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well. Which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Why is it all smoky? Okay, guess it's time to move some creatures around. Man, this room of requirements is huge. This whole game is huge. Hmm. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. What does that plus mean? Let's... can we breed one while it's full? I had both male and female. Maybe I am wrong. Ah, okay. So, Professor Howen will never believe this. Hmm. There we go. One more step before we go and rescue the phoenix. There we go. 
Now I'm wondering, can we use a unicorn as a, uh, as a mount? No, cannot. Ah, this looks nice. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Hmm. Nice, nice. Ah, nice. Ooh, damn, this is... Oh, I like the glossy look. I like this. Nice. Hmm. Got enough gold. Level 26. Let's take a look at things. I haven't gone through my inventory in a while. Got a lot of stuff. Four talent points. Dark arts. Let's see. Hmm. I think this is pretty good. Don't use Expelliarmus a lot. Okay, that one's pretty good. Don't have a rush to momentum. Okay. Huh. Let's see. Room of requirement. Okay, this is all invisibility potions. don't use them a lot, stealth, let's see. Okay, good. We're good on stealth. Rebellio, not that much. Hmm. These are both good. I think I'll go with the stupefy first. There's probably a lot of stuff in here. Ah, wow, I still have so much left. Damn, this game is huge. I haven't even collected some of these. Except for this, we only need two more types of animals. Oh, beast to finish this. Mm hmm. Pretty interesting. Not much there. Hmm. Okay. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. If you have any suggestions, any tips and tricks. Maybe some suggestions on how I can uh, be better prepared. Another maximum potion, okay. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. And hopefully we'll rescue a phoenix. Bye.